In this class, we are going to learn about the Oracle REST Data Services, also known as ORDS. Suppose if you are working on building some business use case or implementation wherein you have to interact with your database in order to fetch the data from the table and present it to the user, like you have to develop an integration layer in order to fetch the details and show on the user interface for a user to take the actions like modify the details or get the insight into the data present in your database. For this purpose, if you are usually building the web services which can fetch the data, then you are sending those details to the client with the help of the APIs you have built, then you don't have to worry much about now because Oracle has created this ORDS which makes the life easy for developers. With the help of ORDS, you can just concentrate on building the business requirement or the solution for your customers rather than thinking about how to build an integration layer which can talk with the database, fetch the details and provide the details further to the client application. Just with the one click, you will be generating a REST API for your database that is to fetch, delete, update and to pack. I'm here in the official documentation page by Oracle that is for the ORDS. You can have a look at this. In the help of ORDS, with the help of few button or clicks, you can create the REST APIs for your database in order to interact with the tables, views, PLSQL. Also, you can create the REST APIs for your custom services which you have built with the SQL as well as the PLSQL. Also, this ORDS will generate an open API documentation. Just with the one URL, you can generate the entire API definition for your application. Also, this ORDS comes with the full developer support. You will have a graphical user interface to create the ORDS. You will be provided by the command line interface as well as there are APIs with the help of which you can create the ORDS REST APIs for your tables and the PLSQL. Also, you can make use of this Oracle SQL developer web version as well as the on premise And with the help of worksheet, you can just look at your data present in the table. Also, you can create the ORDS for your tables and the views as well as the PLSQL with the help of SQL developer. Also, there are database management APIs. We can have a look at this documentation page by Oracle for further details. Alternatively, you can make use of ChatGPT or Google Generative AI, which can tell you more about the ORDS and the solutions what you can build. So without wasting much time, let's begin with our hands-on. For our use case, I will make use of the Oracle database that is Autonomous Transaction Processing ATP database what I have in my tenancy. You can make use of the database what you have. Mostly all the latest Oracle databases supports ORDS. First thing is in order to make use of the ORDS, just click on this and click on the rest. It will open the Oracle database rest interface for you. Here you will get the list of all the clients what you have created in order to interact with the database that is with the help of ORDS. Suppose if you have secured, then only you will find the clients over here. Suppose if you have created the roles or the privileges, privileges in the sense you can create the mapping between your roles and the database views. So we will see one by one how we can create the role privileges. But first and the foremost thing, we will create a simple table and we will create a ORDS without the security. And by making use of this REST API, we will fetch the details from our database and show in our Visual Builder screen. So without wasting much time, let's see how to do the same with the help of SQL Developer. I will be making use of this SQL developer. Suppose if you want to make use of the SQL developer web, we can just click on this SQL. It will launch the SQL developer web and there also you can do the same. So first and the foremost thing is we have to create the table as of now. We don't have any tables in our database. So I will create a sample table that is to show the details of an employee. I will first create a table over here. Let me just run the script. Our table got created successfully. Then I will try to insert few records. I will insert details for five employees over here. Now I will run this queries. Our rows are getting inserted. Let me just comment the changes before we proceed ahead. There is a spelling mistake. Click on run. Changes got omitted successfully. Let us now just see the records are present in our database. Let me just run this query. Yeah, our five employee records are present over here. Let me just delete everything from here now. So whatever things I have shown over here in the screen, like the roles, privileges, clients, those information you can get with the help of these commands as well. Like select start from user roles, you will show the roles. If you want to get the list of all the privileges from the screen, you can get from the screen or with the help of table. Suppose if you want to see what privileges are being mapped to which table or the view, you can get the details. Suppose if your ORDS REST APIs are secured, you can make use of these clients and see what and all details are present for your client. That is authentication. Here the clients are we are using that is for securely accessing our ORDS APIs with the help of OT 2.0 standards. Let me just refresh here and see if the table has been created. That is employee details table. 
first and the foremost thing in generating the ORDS based REST APIs for your database table we have to enable the ORDS for your schema I'm making use of admin schema over here in order to connect to this database so right click over here go to REST services and you have to click the enable REST service at the schema level we are not enabling the authorization but in our subsequent classes we will see how to secure our APIs as well now if you don't want to show the exact name for the end user we can just change the name it will create an alias so that we can secure our backend naming convention just click on next and click on finish so this will be creating a ORDS for your schema next we have to select the table right click over here and we have to select this enable rest service here you have to uncheck this authorization request as I told we will cover this authorization part in our next class and you can provide an alias if you want to provide the same name you can provide the same name but better to not give underscore just give the naming convention which is available across the web like without the underscore by using the smaller letters click on next here you will see the summary authorization we have selected no click on finish done now once we have done this part we can just switch over to the oracle database rest interface over here just refresh this page here if you see we will be seeing one more privileges got added that is the employee table if you want you can just click on this and click on edit and see this is a new privilege it has added in order to access the table that is the employee table let me just go back to the overview next question is how we can make use of the ORDS REST API which we have created just now so for that we can just go over to this again the rest client and just click on this copy metadata catalog so you can make use of a notepad if you see over here this will be our host for your ATP database next comes the keyword that is the ORDS next comes the schema wherever is your table has been created or the ORDS has been enabled in our case ORDS has been enabled for this admin schema then we will get the metadata catalog just copy this and make use of any browser of your choice I'm making use of Google Chrome over here just click on enter in order to read this just copy this from here make use of a notepad plus plus I will be formatting this by making use of this describe URL we will be see all the APIs available let me just copy this and I will see all the APIs available for this employee table if you have noticed when we enabled the rest service for the employee table we had provided this alias so this is the response what we got let me just format this here if you see with the help of that URL we will be fetching all the details whatever was present in the table now you might ask that there could be other operations as well apart from the fetch so in order to know those you can make use of this open API catalog URL over here just copy this and paste it over here so this will be giving you the information of all the supported APIs available for this ORDS REST API for employees table so here is the response let me just copy it and paste it over here remove the existing and let me just format in order to delete any record we have to make use of this path that is slash and the HTTP method is delete so that is the URL is same whatever we have to use this HTTP method is different we had already seen this get method here we have to not pass anything just the url that is the base url you have to provide and we will be getting all the details in the response also it is supporting the query parameter as well suppose if you want to make use of the post we can make use of this url and the http method post in order to modify the details in the employable table suppose if you want to batch load anything you can make use of this apis suppose if you want to access only one particular api we can make use of this id so i will demonstrate this use case now I will copy the base URL from here and copy it over here and I will make use of this slash ID so in our case we had provided ID as 100, 200, 100, 101, 102 let us just see once again what and all details we had entered select star from employee details here in our case ID is 100, 101, 102 suppose if we provide it over here 101 we will fetch the details of only that particular employee so if you want to read this properly just copy this from here and paste it over here and just format this so here we will get the details like employee id is 101 rahul so like this we can create the ORDS based rest api for our oracle database table and fetch the details and carry out other operations on our table with just few button clicks